What? I don't know what this is, but it's kind of hot. Hi everyone, I'm Laurentio and in this video I'm going to talk about pool games or snooker games. Anyway, this port where you hit with a stick a ball and hit other balls and they land in a socket. That, that sort of games. The first one is King of Pool. King of Pool is a fantastic pool game. There are 12 game types you can choose from and one of them is original to the game, it's called Wanderer. There are 5 locations and 8 characters. There are even three mini games in this pool game. And the mini games have nothing to do with pool. But it's cool that you have them. And as for gameplay, the controls are snappy and give you a good sense of control over the game. You can control the power watch, but it's a bummer that you can control the English. You can control on the ball where the Q should hit. But aside of the lack in depth of control, the game is amazing, especially content wise. But for people who like to tweak their shots in detailed ways, the game is not for those type of players. It's a rather basic game, with an arcade feel, and it's very far from a simulation, but I still had fun in the game. World of Pool is again a good game content wise, and an enjoyable game gameplay wise. Though some more depth in gameplay would have made the game way better. This game has 19 locations and 7 game types. Also it's nice that you get exhibition matches, tournaments and a world tour mode. And ad hoc multiplayer. And you even get a mode where you can create your own pool room. But the pool itself isn't all that exciting. It's fun, but still, just like in the other game, you can control the guard right, you can't adjust where the Q hits the ball, so you can't adjust the English. The controls are very simplistic and oftentimes they even feel stiff. But even if the game's quality in gameplay isn't all that high, it's still fun to play. World Snooker Challenge 2005 and 2007, they are two games, are more of a simulation game, or try to be at least. The cover says that all of the 100 real-life players in the game were animated using motion capture. And while you can see the great animations on the characters, the balls look like some pictures that grow and fade. They don't look like balls, nor really give you the impression of being balls. When they move around, they look rather just like some pictures. And you can tell that because the reflection on the balls never changes. The white point that is supposed to be a reflection remains in the same spot, no matter where the ball moves on the, from the light source. But aside of the balls, it's nice that you can play every official tournament of 2005, and that the presentation tries to imitate a TV broadcast, and in most cases it succeeds. And another nice feature is the character creation tool. But how does the game play? It's pretty okay, you can tweak your shots in detailed ways, you can adjust the power, English and the angle, and the physics work well for the most part. Overall the game is still fun, and if you watch a lot of snooker on TV, then you will love this game, as it has 100 real life players and you can make your own character and compete against them, so you can imagine the fun if you're a snooker fan. And even if you're not, you're still going to have a lot of fun in the game. Pocket Pool is a game that tries to lure you in with half-naked women. You get one on the cover of the game and you can unlock pictures of half-naked women throughout the game. It doesn't feel rewarding to be honest, but I guess that people are different and there are some people who will feel very rewarded for receiving a picture of a half-naked woman after winning a game of pool. Anyway, the game has 13 match variations and finally you can control where the Q hits, you can control the English. But even if you get the option, and in theory the gameplay should have more depth, the end result is rather sloppy. Arcade Pool is a PSP Minis, and for a Minis game it packs some good amount of content. Actually, it has pretty much as much content as the other ones. You get 6 locations and 13 match types, the controls are intuitive and that's about it. If I will tell you more about the game, 
I will be actually telling you obvious stuff. Because everything in the game is intuitive. Everything you are going to play in this game, you have seen in other games. And I guess you know how fun pool games can be since you've clicked on this video. And the hustle Detroit Streets takes pool to the next level. This game has a plot. Yup, you get the plot in a pool game. And the plot is crazy, it's not serious and the exaggerated plot makes the game intriguing. You get out of jail to help a street smart cop take out a gambling king. And the gameplay is nice too, it has some quirks that some may like, others may not. See, when you are at the power watch, it looks like this. And if an opponent manages to land two balls in a row or three or more, the watch goes faster because you get intimidated. It's an original idea and it makes the game tougher, but some of you may not like this in a game. Other than this squatch, the game feels intuitive and it's fun to play. You can tweak the trajectory of your shots in many different ways, even the English. Also the game's description made a video game about a pool sound exciting. It says, defeat your opposition, get the girl and escape with your life. Are you going to live? hustle another day. The game is not about hustling, anyway, you just play one match after the other in a bar. But still, the game gets points for personality. As crazy as the game's plot is, it's really wo worth checking it out. Plus that the graphics are amazing for a PSP game. And out of all of the games listed in this video, this is the one I recommend the most. Seriously, try out the game. It's so awesome. I, I, I mean, for a pool game. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.